Hi mom, I'm in my kitchen and I want to give you a demonstration of a project I'm working on. I'm preparing for Invention Bootcamp with this summer where we'll be teaching high school students how to use various invention tools. And one of them is a microcontroller. There's many different kinds now. Uh, we're using something called a Circuit Playground Express. This little thing here, it's, I don't know, two inches in diameter. It's got a brain on it, a microcontroller, and a bunch of sensors, a temperature sensor, an accelerometer, a microphone, some LEDs. So I'm using this to demonstrate how to program microcontrollers, but also how to invent things. So we need to figure out a problem to solve and then figure out how to solve it. So this is a little silly version of a problem to solve, but one that's a little uh, pertinent to uh, it's current. <laughs> anyway, um, we have to wash our hands for 20 seconds. This thing will help me know when 20 seconds is up. Basically, it's a timer. And the key idea is that it's a timer that I don't have to touch in order to make it work. So I'm gonna get my water running. I got some soap here. So get my hands wet, get some soap. And now I'm supposed to wash for 20 seconds. Well, I can start the timer with some noise. And as I'm uh, washing my hands, busy scrubbing, making sure I don't have any bugs on my hands, this thing is counting for me. It's gonna count 20 seconds, and that will change the lighting pattern when um, 20 seconds is up. All of this is programmable. I decided the colors, oh, 20 seconds is up. I guess I can stop washing my hands. So maybe this is a bit of overkill, but um, it's an example of how we can use technology to uh, solve a problem or um, add a convenience to our life. In this case, a hands-free timer that, uh, of course, I could just count in my head 20 seconds, but um, there's other applications for this kind of technology. And I hope you enjoyed the, the silly distraction, but also uh, get a little window into how we are approaching teaching engineering students, teaching high school students to use technology to solve problems. Thanks.